oh hello uh, today I'm going to try and be quick today I'm making a traditional beef stew and I will be putting dumplings in it maybe later on when I've made the video the dumplings are frozen so I don't have to make them myself so I'm cheating a little bit but I've got a lot of things to do today so uh, you know anything that's quick is is good actually I should have said that here hello <laughs> I'm going to start cooking now a traditional British beef stew and Morris says he doesn't want any tomatoes in it he doesn't like a tomato -y stew so it's just going to be a brown stew basically and I think I've got thickening granules somewhere as well so if it's a bit thin before I serve it it can take hours to cook so you're only going to see um, I'm going to pause it for long periods but you won't notice on your end alright let's start this is um, skirt beef I don't think it was very expensive I can't remember it was about £4 something I think it's good for stews, but you have to cook it a long time, um, about three hours. In a slow cook, I think it's about four hours. And I cut it against the grain, because that's what they say you should do. Um, so I did. And I cut it with my poultry scissors, because I haven't got a decent knife. With that nice, neat squares. All right, I'm gonna start cooking now, so I'll have to adjust the camera so you can see what I'm doing you won't see, I don't think there's any any chopping of vegetables or anything like that it's just something really simple that you can make I'm going to start off with heating up a bit of oil just got a bit of sunflower oil here oh and a bit of olive oil but it's not the type of oil I would usually use um, because it's unrefined uh, uh, it's cheap and I'm on a budget alright it's about a tablespoon of oil the meat's got quite a lot of um, oh, what would you call it it's not exactly fat cartilage in it so that will have to dissolve that's why you have to cook it for a long time. Alright, I'll put it on a high heat to start with, just to heat the oil up, put it away. I don't like oil, it's always greasy. I'm very careful when I pour it, but some people aren't. I won't name any names. Yeah, I'm being really, I was really horrible about my parents yesterday and I really regret it. I was making a video, I don't know if you watched it, it was that slimy stuff, that glowworm that was a disaster, etc. And I mentioned about not having a camera as a child, and I called them stingy. But I've got to remember that my parents, until we were about eight, they were fairly poor. And um, then a different company took over my dad, where my dad was working, and he got a much better pay. And I only knew one girl in primary school that had a camera and she was an utter show off as well. I think she was an only child, I don't know, but I don't think anyone liked her. And uh, I know that some of the children, not many, mainly rich, from rich backgrounds, had Polaroid cameras when they were about nine or ten, something like that. But having a camera as a child was a rarity. I mean, cameras probably cost a lot of money in those days anyway. I mean, they bought us a calculator when they were, you know, not long after they first came out. So they must have spent a lot of money on a calculator because they were really expensive in the, in the 70s and the early 80s. They were really expensive. So they weren't stingy, and they did buy us a camera when we were in our um, 
later teens, where one for uh, the three of us to share, which I thought was fine. So I felt really guilty about that. They weren't stingy at all. And I'm going to make an apology in the comments section of that video. I think that's terrible what I said. This is this aisle is super hot now. Yeah. Me and my mouth, it could cause an accident. with me when you're browning it is not to keep unless you're doing a, something in a wok you know that's crunchy like vegetables uh, with me uh, don't keep turning it stirring it you can hear the sizzling can't you and you can see my beautiful hands uh, a lady once said to me she said oh you've got beautiful hands and I had nail polish on at the time. It was one of those 80s colours, you know, that looked like pearl. Yeah, I had one of those nail varnishes on, one of them, and my fingernails were quite long as well. And she said to me, oh, have you ever thought about being a hand model? And I thought, no. <laughs> I don't expect hand models get paid a lot of money. Oh, sometimes my hands look really shriveled up, like, like not really old person's hands, and all the veins stick out, yeah. Alright. I've got a secret ingredient here. No, a lazy person's ingredient. I know this isn't exactly a British thing, it's more of a French thing. Oh, sorry, what am I doing? <laughs> Classic vegetable base mix. It's just onion, celery and carrot. It's the French use that a lot, but they do their own chopping of the veg really, in really small pieces. I ain't got time for that. And it would take me forever. Let's have a look at this mate. Well, it's partially cooked now. I know you can see a lot of red. But I'm going to add the um, base to give it flavour. Because I'm going to find it very difficult not using tomatoes or spices to give it flavour. So I can only use British things in this. Oh, this is a bit chunky. Look how chunky that is. Yeah, chunky. I did go at I did go at the packet with my meat tenderizer. Just using my hands, they're clean anyway. difficult to tell how much to use when it's in big chunks. I'll have a look. Mm. Yeah, they're broken up nice and easy. I might even use more actually. This carrot really is good in a stew, isn't it? It really adds some sweetness. A bit of sweetness is good, especially if you haven't got much of an appetite. To have a little bit of sweetness in your stew from carrot, I think it's a great idea. I can't imagine a stew without carrots actually. Mm. Well I've made I have made stews without carrots. 
man. Especially in uh, North Eastern Jews. I haven't made many of them. I made top bock, eh? I'll have to make that for you one day. It's Korean. It's made with rice cakes. Got a lovely texture about them. I haven't really got a flavour because they're just made out of rice, rice flour. But Morris actually likes top bock, eh? So. Oh, I've made two variations as well. Oh, oh. Yeah, you can't hear it sizzling now because of the um, watery veg. I have to put this in a bag. Keep it in this good night. Put it in there. No, better see-through bags better. And I can see what I need. It's an empty box. Just put that there for now. Yeah, when it's a disaster, that um, fart thing, glow worm and hot um, slime, make your own slime. I did try and make another glow worm this morning. Didn't work out. It was just rubbish. I've kept the orange fart thing because I like the colour. And it might come into... Um, I could mix it maybe with pinky a little bit. I don't know. I'm not very good at throwing things away because I think, oh, it might have a purpose one day. You never know, it might be important. Right, I'll just put that back in the freezer. I don't think I need to add onions. Let's have a look. Mm. No, anyway, I'm putting leeks in it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, they're frozen as well. Basically, everything is going to be frozen. I just have to look for my peas to see if I've got peas. Got leeks. Uh, chopped onions, which I'm not using today. I've got this um, from the Polish shop, Chinese mix, good in stir fries. Cauliflower. Uh, I could put cauliflower in it actually. That'd be a nice change, wouldn't it? Carrots. Yeah, I might put cauliflower in instead. That's just the, that noise is my freezer. What else have I got? Oh, I've got scenario. So that, I could use scenario. Yeah, yeah actually. That softens quite quickly. Let's check the best before day. June. Oh no. June, yeah, I'm going to get rid of that today. I can leave that out, it doesn't matter if it defrosts. What else have I got in there? Some butternut squash. Yeah, why not? Oh, it's not English, is it? Oh, that has to be used up as well. Do you know what? I'm going to throw that away. No, I'll keep it until the end of June. Yeah. So... Peas is what I'm after. I really want to put peas in. I'm having trouble finding them though. Mm. Oh, the bit's right at the back. What is that? Oh gosh, no peas, everything else but peas. Alright. Sorry about that awful noise. I'm just going to pause it while I'm looking for the peas. Alright. I found the peas. So the vegetables, I know celeriac is more of a continental vegetable. But I'm going to, it's been sold in the supermarkets for years now. So I, so I'm going to use it. 
Slarek and Hayes and Lakes. Plus the vegetables are already in here. Carrot and celery. It looks nice. Don't know if you can see it. Still learning, I'm still learning. No, middle, it was outwards. There. God, that heat's giving me a hot flush. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bit of salt. Alright, some salt. Probably won't need it, I'm, I'm putting a stop cube in, but it's, that's a 500 ml of liquid, so I don't think there's a lot of salt in that, salt in that stock pot. Yeah, I did use to under-season my food until my daughter taught me otherwise. She's an instinctive cook, actually. Alright then. Uh, yes. One of my favourites, and this is the really rich one. Lovely dark brown. Yeah, this takes hours to cook, but don't worry, you won't be watching the whole thing. I love the way it just plops out. Oh, I mustn't forgot, forget about my coffee. Well, where did I put it? Yeah, I keep forgetting it, and then I have to put it in the microwave to reheat it. Mmm. Delish. I mean, that's cafe. I'm, I'm not a coffee snob. Oh, I just heard my cat come in. Oh, God. I hope he doesn't pester me. I'll have to check his bowl. Actually, I'm going to pause this. I'll turn it down a bit. I'll just add some water first. Just use that bowl. Let's have a minute here. That's in the water. Just want it covered. Make sure the meat's submerged. And that's it for now, for about an hour. I'm going to cook it with the lid on. Oh, I forgot, yeah, two bay leaves. Always get them from the Indian section of your supermarket. They do big packets. Because if you get it from the Sainsbury's or Tesco Spices, you'll just get something like, uh, let me see, you get something about that size with a few bay leaves, and they're never nice. They're always either small or brown or, you know, heart bits of them, you know, not whole ones. So get them from the Indian section. Right, I did that. I'm going to put the lid on now. I'm going to bring it to the boil. Oops. And then when that's brought to the boil, I'm going to turn it down and cook it for an hour. And then come back and see what it's doing. So you won't see much of me or anything happening in this video, so it's going to be short, alright? Good. And I can get on with something, like having something to eat or something. So, celeriac leaks and they won't go until the last hour, last half hour of cooking, or last 20 minutes of cooking. The dumplings I'll have a look at in a minute, but they'll probably go in that you won't, you probably won't get to see me putting the dumplings in, but I'll show you the packet now. There aren't Bessies. And I'm sure, I don't know if, if they have dumplings like this in the USA. Their dumplings are complete, completely different. 
these use suet. You can get, you can make flour and water dumplings. But I like the ones with suet. And um, I think you can get vegan dumplings. No, you can't, no. Can you? I'm not sure. It's got wheat in it, but my daughter's not having dinner with us today. Um, how to cook. Place on top of the casserole. Oh, for 35 to 40 minutes. So, hmm. I'm not sure. You might see me put them in. Yeah, you might. I don't know yet. Alright. Eight. There's eight. They're, I can tell by the shape. They're so, and they do shrink a little bit. So they're only small. Uh, um, they're delish. Delish. Let me just check that they have got suet in. Vegetable suet. Ah, didn't know there was such thing. It's got vegetable suet. Mm. So is this vegan? Let's just have a look. Doesn't look like it's got any animal products in it. got a lot of things I don't really know what they are. They got some vitamins in which is good. Vitamin B's. Wheat. Calcium, carbonate, iron. Oh, they're listing all the good things. Non-hydrogenated palm and rapeseed oil. Yeah as far as I can tell these are suitable. Oh, for vegetarians. Yeah, I don't know about vegans, but vegetarians. So you could make a um, judge up a vegetable stew with these dumplings. Alright then, that's it. I'm going to turn this video on. Um, pause the video, I mean, not turn it on. I'll probably run out of battery, so I'll have to get my charger in. All right then. So I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I'll see you again soon.
I've put that in Baker Street's before and I've really enjoyed it. So, it's only a man and not me. It's quite strong. Not me. Brown, not me. Not much at all. I think you can only do certain um, dried herbs and spices, so you've got to be careful. If that's there. Yeah, it's really hot in this house, just from that. So I'm going to add some vegetables now. The meat's breaking up, starting to break up, so it's more or less ready. So I better put the veg in now. Make sure that lights on, yeah. Alright, I think they will take about the same length of time. I think the legs might take a little bit longer. I don't know. How long did it say? Well, I've only got the microwave cooking instructions in. I'm not going to overwhelm it with leeks. I think that's more than enough. Can you see it on there all right? Stir it in. All right, I'll cook this for about 10 more minutes. Just turn the heat up a bit because I've added something cold. All right, so I'm gonna pause it again, I'm afraid. Alright then, pause. Oh hello, I'm back to put the um, remaining vegetables in. I need a cloth because that is so hot that pan. Oh no wonder, I'm boiling it on number 8. Oh. Yeah, it's still got enough liquid in it. Alright, I'm going to add the scenario. I think I'll add all of it. I hope Morris doesn't complain. Oh. Well, he doesn't seem to complain about vegetables, so it should be alright. Teeth actually, the scenario. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll just stir them around, put the heat up a little bit higher. I'm going to cook the peas at the same time. I think 10 minutes is enough, or well, probably less than that because I'll be just keeping it in a hot pan for ages. So I think five minutes will be enough. Uh, where's the peas? Oh, here they are. Sometimes I go a bit overboard with peas. Alright. 
I have some Chinese chives that I got from Wing Yip, but there was no date on it. And I thought, hmm, they might be nice in the curry, I'm not curry, in the stew. And I thought, oh, Morris won't, hopefully Morris won't mind. Anyway, I tried some. Uh, it tasted like rotten cabbage. I don't know if it's meant to smell like that. I think it was off. So I'm pleased I didn't put it in. Now, I obviously always try vegetable first if I'm not sure about it. But it did not taste like chives. Alright, I'll put this back in the freezer. I'll put this on for five minutes because it's, it's going to rest anyway. Alright, five minutes. So. I don't know whether to thicken it up now or when I'm serving it, that's the thing. I'll probably better wait until I'm serving it. So I'll tell you what I'll be doing. Um, I'm not going to upload it yet, obviously, because I'm going to take a picture of it when it's ready for me to eat. I'll t take a picture of my dinner, untouched, obviously. And um, it's very straightforward. You can put in what, uh, whatever vegetables you want. Frozen or fresh, it doesn't matter. It's just a bit frozen, you don't need to do all the chopping. Oh no, I better put the dumplings in. No, no, I'm going to have to turn it off now. Because I've still got the dumplings to put in. So, I'll just add a bit more water. It's drying out a little bit. Get my cloth. The meat's definitely cooked. It's probably overcooked now. I'm probably going to get into a bit of trouble. Yeah. So, no more cooking. Oh, why? I might have to cook the dumplings separately. Yeah, I might have to put them in the oven. So, I'm going to turn the heat off now. I can't believe that. Why didn't I use my brain? 35 to 40 minutes they take in a casserole. They would be like mush. So let's have a look, see if I can cook them in the oven. Oh, I hope I can. They won't quite be the same, but I've got no other option really. Good. I can put it in the oven for 12 minutes at 200. Just put them on a baking tray and cook for 12 minutes at 200. Top, top oven. Not the fan oven, the top oven. 12 minutes, so that's good. Oh, what a relief. So, you won't see me putting these in. I'll be putting them in the oven now, unfortunately, because I've put the vegetables in. And if I did another 35 or 40 minutes of that, it would just be like a mush. So, I've stopped cooking now. Alright, I'll tell you what else I have to do before I serve the dinner. <clears throat> I'll be adding parsley at the end. It's curly parsley, oh, it's still dripping. I chopped it up a bit with scissors and it may not need thickening but if it does I'll just add like a tablespoon of gravy granules and just stir it until it's thickened so that's optional so that's it oh and obviously I'll season it I don't know why it always has to be at the end but um with white pepper because to me um, 
Well, Morris loves white pepper more than ground black pepper. He's very British. And all I have to do is cook the dumplings in the oven and then just reheat that, thicken it up a little bit if it needs it. Put some parsley on top, season it with white pepper, dish it up or mash. Yeah, I don't know if he wants it in a, in a bowl or a plate. I'll probably do it in a big bowl. Mash on one side. Oh, my dish not, just not very artistic, so I'll have to be careful. Um, yeah, and I don't eat a lot, so mine's going to be a bit meagre. But, um, yeah, it's a lot of meat there for Morris. He, he just adores meat. All right, that's it for now. I can't sh show you any more. Um, the thumbnail will be a picture of the dinner and obviously I'll get, I'm just going to use my e-meat camera to take the picture. Uh, I'm not going to do my um, use of a mobile because the last time I took a picture of my meal with my mobile it kept turning on its side for some reason, the picture, when I put it as thumbnail so I'll use my e-meat. Yeah. I use the e take a picture of it just as, just as I'm about to eat it and I'm ex absolutely exhausted and worn out now because I've been busy doing other things as well um, so I'm really tired but that's just an easy sort of British style beef stew an idiot could make it and that's why I chose it Alright then, I didn't get it from a recipe obviously, I've been making beef stew all my life, but he wants it ordinary. He says, I just want an ordinary beef stew, and we'll probably find fault with it, something, maybe the celeriac or something. Or he might say, why didn't you put whole onions in it? I don't want whole onions in my stew. And the onions you get today in a supermarket, it's a... They're rotten, half rotten when you buy them, when you take them home. So, no. Oh, that's enough anyway. It'd be a decent enough dinner, I'm sure. He can't keep moaning at my cooking. Well, he doesn't usually. Alright then. I might make something a bit different next week. Something like a sweet or a confectionery. Something really easy, obviously. Alright then, uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.